whole time. It gives the audience a chance to be like detectives. Enough! People tell us that we are better than Broadway. Tony, how come you're making such a fuss over them? Barbara, I told you! Tonight is a very important night. Tonight, tonight, we gotta decide what musical to put on next season. Like, I've never been before to anything like this, and I love it. It was amazing. Uh, just the, the level of energy that the actors uh, were able to keep up for the entire length of that production was uh, mind blowing. You went back in the supply closet. Did you divulge the information I disclosed to you about the murder weapon? Is that a crime? No. Then I did it. <laughs> I thought it really made a difference in the show. Instead of just watching it, you got to be really, like, you got to be part of the story. That's when I remembered my car out there on P Street, and I went out to move it because I don't have a residence. Oh, okay, no, he didn't go that way. Where did he go? The bathroom, that's right, lady. He went to the bathroom. The bathroom, the bathroom, the bathroom, the bathroom. That's what I told you, remember? He talked to boys. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> I made a mistake. Very good. That's very good. <laughs> Because right when intermission came, all my friends and I were like, oh my gosh, what is your theory about it? What are the questions we should have for him? So that was really fun. I want to know why there was a uh, bloody glove in the uh, trash can that's inside the shop currently. Time out. You're telling me you saw Barbara DeMarco throw away a bloody glove. How many people saw this? <laughs> he said at one point in time she was killed with a pair of scissors. Did everybody hear this guy right here? Yeah. During my interrogation of Eddie Lawrence, he knew. He knew! Not only she got it in the throat, he knew it was a pair of scissors. I never said a word to this guy, now did I? And then when we were all neatly arranged in her final little concerto of revenge, what does she do? Oh my God, she picks up a pair of scissors and stabs herself in the throat. Yes! Repeatedly? Yeah, no, that wouldn't work. <laughs> you were a stakeholder, it was, it was really cool. And finally, those of you who feel that the chief suspect in the murder of Isabel Church is Mr. Anthony Whitcomb, raise your hands. I know you. Are you with him? You're one lucky lady. <laughs> you can help decide the outcome of the show. It's crazy, but awesome. Really funny. And oh. it's different every time. Oh my god, have to see it. It's hilarious. Sheer pleasure. <laughs> I loved it. It was great. <laughs>